Here's how I designed a three piece mold to take an attempt at solving the problem where my foam cast is missing an arm. So I started in SOLIDWORKS where I designed a mold box and planned how the three piece mold was going to work. I then secured the model in the first half of the mold box, mixed up some silicone and poured it in. Once it was cured, I sprayed a little bit of ease release to ensure that the different parts of the mold won't stick together. I closed up the mold box and poured in the next layer of silicone. I let that cure and then I poured in the final layer. All right, time to mix up some foam and pour it into the mold. Cap it off, screw it shut, and give it a couple hours to cure. Now is the moment of truth. I pulled open the mold one piece at a time, and I was pleasantly surprised to find something that resembled the original figurine. But you can see that there's a lot of flashing, which is the material that seeped in between the seams of the different mold pieces. This is why I tried to do a one piece mold in the first place, but it wouldn't have been possible to do that with an arm. And at this point I decided to cut my losses and move on from my foam casting adventures because I've found a different approach that I can take to get the figurines to look like finished products. And we'll cover that in a future video.